Yes. Yes. How good was that? Unbelievable. Isn't that unbelievable? Unbelievably cool. Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah. One guitar. Yeah. With the uh, acoustic singer pro from Bus. Yeah. The direct looper out. Yeah. One guitar did all of this. I think that's very impressive. Anyway, yeah. so welcome to. Um, I, I believe this is Acoustic Paradiso. Yeah, it is. I believe it is. Uh, it was double denim last time, so I was wearing the double denim, but he didn't get the memo. I didn't. He didn't get the memo. I completely uh, forgot that it was even today. Yeah, so uh, yeah. It was supposed to be yesterday, but I wasn't feeling very well. No, it wasn't. Yesterday, a bit so uh, a bit poorly. Uh, so, but, so, anyway, Faith Guitars. Yeah. Yes. Legacy Series. Yes. Uh, and there's three in the range. There is the Mars, there is the Neptune, Neptune. and then there is the Earth, which we haven't got here. Um, most people know what that is. These are awesome. Absolutely. Um, I remember, I think it was two years ago at NAMM, when Lee and I went to, um, as one of the last things we did, go downstairs, go and see... Um, the face then, and I had a chat with uh, Patrick James Engel, which is the, mm. the chief designer for yeah. all these guitars. And he was like, "You have to check these things out." And I was like, "Yeah, let me check them out." And um, and they're just incredible. Yeah. And I I tried I tried the one you have over there, which is the um, the which is the Mars. This is the Mars yeah, model. Yeah. That's the Mars model. So there's Earth, Mars, and Neptune. Earth, Neptune. Mars, you know, so That's they're the, all of them, they got the Blood Moon, they got all of these different uh, yeah. guitars and they make some unbelievable guitars, so these are, um, I would say, probably the top range yes. of what they make, yes. so they come with a case as well, a really so just check this case out, good case, check that out, I Very mean that cool. just looks amazing, so. super cool super case, cool. Yeah. Um, proper acoustic touring case, yeah, absolutely, so they do the three models, as I said. Two of them have got the cutaway, and uh, and one doesn't. Now, I mean, they they've just upped all the specs with this stuff, right? Uh, they're not cheap, but they're not really crazy expensive. expensive. No. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about eleven hundred quid. So one is eleven hundred quid, one is eleven sixty nine. So there's sixty quid difference in the two. Mm -hmm. The one with the cutaway is more expensive than one without a cutaway. Yes. Which yeah, think of that of where you will. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. So I think they've got the same specs. Yes. Right? Um, so yeah, you read out one, you get the exact same on the yeah. other one. So what have you got spec wise? I mean, what have I got spec wise? Um, so the top is Torrified Sitka Spruce. Yes, Torrified. 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 I believe you told me about this. Is this sort of the same sort of thing as like a, a roasted maple vibe? Is it that? Yeah, Does it like cook it? Yeah, they cook it. I think. Or is it sucking the moisture out? Yeah, torrification is a different sucking the moisture out of you. Torrification is a different kind of thing. Okay. Because I, I think, if don't shoot me if I'm wrong. I know there's a lot of people out there that know better, uh, but I, I believe that what torrification is that they they basically. If they change the molecule structure of the wood to be older, so yes, they dry it out right. in like in like a baking oven mm. type thing. So, because you know that's what happens to wood when it dries out. You can literally dry it so it gets so it f feels older. Yeah. And you know, the older the wood is, the different it sounds. Oh, let's get into the whole tone wood, tone wood thing. Bing, 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 but bing, bing. actually, I believe that it does. I believe I, that I it does make a difference because if you listen to a torrified uh, guitar just on its own with the Neumann KM184 I think it got this, it's, it's, they just have this like really natural rounded tone like nice and it's a, it, it just sounds like it's been played for a long time mm. it, you know it, it's like it's gro it's a grown up guitar but still like bright it's a, yeah like, you know? it's a good guitar that's grown up you know so what it does to the wood as well it makes it it ages it a bit mm. so it of course looks a bit uh, aged here um and it's it's uh back it's all solid mm -hmm. guitar it's um, african mahogany but it's a specific it's african kaya mahogany kaya okay all right i, I mean it looks like mahogany to me. 
So I don't know if that makes any difference, but it looks nice. Uh, it's got the abalone, it's got the mahogany neck, uh, it's got the satin. satin no, it's, got a, it's, it's got the um, the neck joint is the uh, Patrick James Eggle uh, designed uh, yeah. bold on neck joint. It's got your 16 inch radio, so it's quite flat. Nice it is flat. very flat, yeah. It's very flat, right? I mean, the actions come in super low, but yeah. it doesn't. doesn't... Feels unbelievable. Yeah, the way it's set up. <laughs> this is feels great, really good. The neck has got really just normal sort of nice. Um, what do we call it? A satin finish, it's, which is really nice. Yeah, just it's like is. a satin, it's very satin like. finish. So it it does come with uh, Macassan ebony. So ebony, yeah. ebony, um, ebony. Yeah. No, ebony, ebony, mahogany. Sorry, ebony, ebony, mahogany, ebony, ebony, mahogany, and spruce. That sounds like a, dr a drum. Film. Ebony, 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 mahogany, mahogany spruce, spruce. <laughs> Ag <laughs> agony, ebony, ebony, mahogany, spruce. I mean, if you want all the details and all the specs on these, you should really, you should really just read them up because you know all the guitars. A lot of guitars are similar spec, mm. whether it's mahogany back and sides or rosewood back and sides. But most of them have got a spruce top. But then it could be an Engelmann spruce top. But it could be, you know, Sitka spruce. It could be different kind of spruce tops. Uh, Next are. Sort of generally hardwood of some sort. Um, I mean, that, turning it around, nice setting for any Grover tuners with the uh, with the ebony tuners on there. It's got quarter saw. Um, did I? Yeah, quarter saw spruce uh, bracing. Yeah. Did I say it was a uh, nitro uh, lacquer? Did I? No, I we didn't say it was okay, so it's Is a, it a polyurethane. No, it's a polyurethane lacquer. Yeah, I just maybe it's a different video we did. Um, but anyway. I really like these. I think they're great. I think they're really, really for the eleven hundred mark. I don't think. I think you you you're gonna struggle to get anything. Also, it's got this really cool um, Fishman yeah, this is flex nice. blend, which yeah. you which you really hurt in the beginning on its in its you know full glory. Yeah, because it's got it's oh the plant is attacking me. Uh, Feed me Seymour. Feed me Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got it's got a little tuna on here. You can see there, it lights up when it's green. Really cool. It mutes yep. it. So if I just click out, you got you got your tone. So, um, so that's obviously your volume. That's the volume. If you click this one, which is your um, tone, what you're hearing now is the amps. I'm plugged into the Boss Acoustic Singer Pro. That's the tone. If I click that. It's my face, so it turns the face, so that... Is that like a feedback? Yeah, that helps if you've got a feedback uh, issue. You, yeah, can, you yeah. can turn it and then it goes off if the drum is having, you know, on your D chord. <laughs> it always, like, feeds back. Um, and then the third button here is the interesting button, Super because cool. um, you've got an an on the saddle piazza pickup yep. here, which you can hear now. But if I turn this knob, I'll turn over to a con condenser mic, which is inside. So that's what you heard when I was in the beginning, when I was hello, when I was shaking, because it all comes with a little silica gel. <laughs> yeah, a little shaker. I think we did. Me and Mick did that once. Yeah, before. Oh yeah, okay. But this is really cool because you can get those. You can either use it for all of that stuff. You can hear trying to feed back. So you want to get sort of in there. It's not easy on an acoustic, on an acoustic guitar. guitar. It's, it's kind of a way stretch. Can't believe John Mayer does almost this chord, but with his, but thumb, with over his the top. thumb. Big hands, big hands, McGee. 
Bitcans McGee. Oh, if you haven't watched this new video on that. Man, go, go, <laughs> seriously, go watch it. The man is insane. Uh, and he's coming on the latest Gibson video. Uh, it's just on. as cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I mean, this guitar for me is just a great guitar. I, I absolutely love them. It's got all the right specs. It's got the, uh, it comes with the case. It's got, I mean. And it's as good as I remember. Yeah. From then. Yeah. You know, I, it is absolutely as good as I remember. Um, so that's just, the, I mean, it's, it's just super. Yeah. I never say that very often. No, it's zoop. super. Super. It's just super duper. Let's, let's have a listen to yours because this is a different shape. You've got a different shape, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, right now, um, I'm plugged into the Hughes & Kenner Era 1 um, and uh, G chord. Hello. Under the bridge. Under not the bridge, the song. Not the Red Hot Chili Pepper song, but under there. Mm -hmm. And then if I... It just sounds... It's great, isn't it? it just, especially, it's got such a... It's got such a vibe when you're using the condenser. Response. Yeah. Um, there's just like a, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like. A it's like an attack, because uh, the under the bridge one, the good thing about acoustic guitars, especially if you're using like an under the bridge sound, it's not forgiving. So if you're like. It's very obvious, yeah, yeah. but with the condenser mic, there's something, it's same, it's not forgiving, but there's a little bit of squishiness to it. And especially if you blend the two. Which is like a halfway point. to turn it off and just see what it sounds like without uh, any amp on. Okay, so this I've muted it with the capabilities of the tuner because the tuner mutes it. So this is exactly the same right now. I feel as if maybe yours is a little bit brighter. No. It depends on where you yeah, play. Yeah, I so. think so. What pick you use? Let's just uh, unplug in, then do the old swipsy swapsy thing. Yeah, swipsy swapsy. Um, so Play something. If I um, so I've got a uh, I've got a, one of these new flow picks, nine seventy three Dunlop things. It's quite a thin one. Uh, yeah. Let me just position myself on front of the microphone. Same. I actually prefer that right now where I'm sitting. Okay. You try to play. Okay, so holding it, I prefer this one. Okay. Yeah. For some strange reason. What I'm do you mean, like neck, shit, neck, neck wise, or? No, I just feel as if I'm hearing a little bit of brightness to the sound. Mind you guys, I am using um, a 1.4 uh, Primetime Jazz 3. Yeah, so it's um, quite it's a quite lot more stiff. Yeah. It's the thing, you know. So let's just let's just quickly go. Let's just go. Let's go picks, okay? Let's go to let's the picks. Go, let's, let's go, let's go picks. Let's go picks. So I've got five different picks. Here is that Dunlop that I used first. Okay. 73 mils flow. Which okay. Is a oh, yeah, flow. Which is a, which is a prime tone. <laughs> flow and flow. Which is a uh, prime tone yes. uh, material. Yeah. So uh, here's the G chord. Here's 
it's like a only ball, uh, which is a Tortex thing, I believe. So like, probably the same uh, sort of material. It's the same sort of material. It's a, a heavy. Here's a nylon one mil. Mm. Okay. Sounds warmer to me. It does. Right? Okay. It does. This is an old Fender, mm. which is, you know, uh, it's like a was medium. It, what was it? You said that's like a real one, though. It's, it's 1980. Like 1980. 1980 picked this, okay? Yeah. But it's a really big one, but it's. Uh, yeah. Not as thin, as thick, so. You can hear this. Yeah. Can you hear yeah. that? Okay, and then the prime, prime tone, 1.4. 1. 1. But, but, That's you can hear. It might be better for. Because yeah. of the accuracy yeah. and the stiffness of it? Yeah, exactly. But so I've got the thing. If I go and do a session at a studio and have and they say, Can you come and play some acoustic guitar for us? I go, Yes, of course I can. So I'll bring a couple of guitars. I'll bring I'll bring I only bring a couple, maybe three, but I'll bring like fifty picks with me. Sure. Like like all the different picks I can find you know every kind of thickness every kind of material and then and then just watch the song it's the song it's the song this kind of vibe can you hear this mm -hmm. right oh it's this kind of thing Is it this kind of thing? You know, you can, you can just, it's such a difference in the yeah. pick, so don't yeah. underestimate the pick, guys. The power of we, the pick. The power of the pick. We will do a video on picks at some point when we get like the whole thing lined Everything. up. Everything. So we need to t try all the Delmans and the Tortex and the yeah. and the Celluloid and the yeah. whatever, all yeah. the stuff. And we'll get, uh, I'll try to get Dunlop to send us like one of each. And yeah. just the thickness, just the thickness of a pick just makes such a huge... Anyway, we're not talking about picks in this video, we're talking about these gorgeous guitars. And you like them? I love them. I absolutely think they're think that. That's a great amazing guitar. guitars. Value for money wise, I mean, I don't think you can really, you can't really ask for more. With the case, with the Fishman um, Flex Blend, with the condenser mic inside, yep. you can do all solid of that stuff. Solid top, back and side, all satin solid, finish. You know, all yeah. solid. What, what was the, um, was it Ebony? Yeah, it's Ebony fretboard, yeah. I mean, it's just great. That's I mean, it might, it might be worth mentioning it's 45 mil at the knot. Okay. I mean, that'll, that'll, that'll mean something. Some, to some to people, someone. you know, some people might think, oh, that's a bit too wide for me. Yeah. Personally, I kind of like that. Yeah, I know, I think it's great. It's bone as well, bone saddle, bone nut. What more do you want? Yeah, it's great acoustic guitars. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm starting to dig these flow picks, man. They're cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, they're cool. Okay, well, there we have it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything more to say. The Legacy series. Yes. Three guitars. Three of them. Mars. Yeah, the Mars Neptune Rover. and the Earth, uh, which we haven't got here because we haven't that been in stock. But these are in stock now. They are uh, in to come in and try. They're available to come, come in and try in the shop. Links will be below. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh. It's been a long day already. It is. And um, I really like these. I think they're absolutely, I think they're absolutely fantastic guitars. They're absolutely worth a go. If you have about a thousand pounds, 1100 quid to spend on an acoustic guitar and you want something that can that sound great, you can plug in, it's got all of this stuff you need. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't 
You can't go wrong with no, these. No, I think they're great. They are awesome. So on that note, let's gr let's do another groove like that.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.